Now we are going to start case study question number 26. And this question is based on uh, the human eye and the colorful uh, world. Okay. And from that twinkling of star, that topic uh, I took. So the contest is like that. The twinkling of a star is due to atmospheric pressure refraction. Okay. Atmospheric refraction of starlight. The starlight on entering the earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches the earth. The atmospheric refraction occurs in a medium of gradually changing refractive index. Since the atmosphere bends starlight towards the normal, the apparent position of the star is slightly differed from its actual position. The star appears slightly higher than its actual position when viewed near the horizon. Further, this apparent position of the star is not stationary but keeps on changing slightly since the physical condition of the earth's atmosphere are not stationary. Since the stars are very distant, their approximate point sized source of light as the path of rays of light coming from the star goes on varying slightly, the apparent position of the star fluctuates and the amount of starlight entering the eye flickers. The stars sometimes appear brighter and at some other time fainter which is the twinkling effect. Right, so this is the figure. Now based on this some questions are there. Right, so this is the actual position and this is the apparent star position and this happens because of the atmospheric uh, no, no. So this is the first question actually. So the first question is the stars seem higher than they actually are due to first reflection of light, refraction of light, scattering of light, inference of light. Already in the context. Yes. In the, already it is given in the context refraction of light. Now second question. Stars appear to twinkle because of First, atmospheric refraction, correct hai. Movement of air, alag alag uh, part hai, waha par is liye wo kabhi faint ho raha hai, kabhi bright dikh raha hai. Both A and B and none of this. So, already I explained. Which option is the correct one? C option, both A and B. Third bit, at noon, the sun appears white. White as Number one, light is least scattered. All the colors of the white light are scattered away. Blue color is scattered the most. Red color is scattered the most. So which is the correct option? Light is least scattered. Yes, very good. Light is least scattered. Now question number four. Which of the following phenomena of light is involved in the formation of rainbow? Was first. Reflection, refraction and dispersion. Second, refraction, dispersion and total internal reflection. Refraction, dispersion and internal reflection. Dispersion, scattering and total internal deflection, uh, reflection. The reflection, reflection and dispersion. Reflection, kahan pe hota hai? This is the correct option. Refraction, dispersion and uh, internal reflection. Okay. So C bit is the correct answer. Now the last question, which of the following statements is correct regarding the propagation of light of different colors of white light in air? First, red light moves with the fastest speed. Blue light moves faster than green light. All the colors of the white light moves with the same speed. Yellow light moves with the mean speed as that of the red and the violet light. Red light moves with the faster speed. So the correct option is C bit. See, the, all the colors of the white light moves with the same speed. But they have different uh, wavelengths. Okay. 
they have different wavelengths and different uh, frequencies. Is that clear? So the correct answer is C bit. So this is the last question of this case study question. Uh, now we'll uh, see the next case study question in the next one. So thank you.